I can't believe we're gonna do this again. Look, here's an open letter to the Xbox fanboy. Please do not go down this dummy rabbit hole again. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask, so let's get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, let me say this. Normally, when I use the medicine format, that's because it's a lot more prepared it's a lot more structured and I'm breaking things down in the three parts, you know what I'm saying? But going into 2020, I might change it up a little bit. And just because um, multiple formats may confuse things, right? And I wanna speak straight to the gamer. So this may be the format that I stick to here on this channel, we'll see. But there's bigger fish to fry right now. Um, I'm seeing an article being circulated by many of my Xbox brethren. Maybe I shouldn't use the word fanboy. My grandmother always told me it's better to get bees with honey. So let me let me try that approach. To my Xbox brethren, right? Um, here's the article. The article talks about Sony's PS5 price likely to be cheaper, but lesser quality compared to Xbox Series X report. And people are taking this to mean that, you know, because Xbox Series X may pump out more gigawatts or biberhertz, that, you know, that this is gonna lead to them being a heavy favorite. And I'm confused. I really am confused because I, a lot of people that are circulating this, I, I kind of know you guys. I know you guys. I've, and I don't know, I'm not saying I know you well, but I've interacted with you and I, I'm a pretty decent judge of character. So I can tell when someone, you know, kind of gets in or they're a complete idiot. I don't think you guys are complete idiots, but for some certain reason, when it comes to this console stuff, that's what you want to portray, a complete idiot. Look, circulating or putting too much behind articles like this that really read like some some damn uh, Yoda passage. I can't even understand this babble. And, and y'all think I stumble over my words. Lord Jesus try to understand this damn article. That being said, I don't get why y'all putting so much to do behind stupid stuff like this. It, it It's taking your eye off the ball. And look, I get it. I get it, trust me. For those that have been following my content for the last few years when I've been on YouTube, I get it. For those that haven't, here goes my brief history. I came on the scene representing Xbox wholeheartedly. And it's no secret to those that do follow my content, I'm not the biggest fan of PlayStation material. And often more than not, I think that their games are overrated. They're, they're very cinematic. They don't focus on gameplay. That's why I was an Xbox fan from the OG Xbox days in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Because I like what they presented. I did have a PlayStation 2, but I like the grittiness and the rawness of the, um, Xbox games, you know what I'm saying? It kind of reminded me of the stuff that I saw on PC, but they had the plug and play of a console. So I was all for it, right? And then, um, you know, 360 just brought that to light even further. And now we're here where we're at now with the Xbox One and going into the Xbox Series X generation. So I came on the scene representing Xbox because I figured because of the lineage that they would want to bring that back. They were just in hard times with the Xbox One, it wasn't as bad earlier on as people were making out to be, yada, 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 right? But I never quite understood or cared for Phil's rhetoric, but even though he was made in charge, I figured that there were more entities, other cogs in the wheel that would keep everything in balance and then and they would again get back to stride and do some of the, you know, get some of the more hardcore content that made Xbox what it was, along with branching out and, and expanding and, and being bigger and better, right? Um, and. I even had the infamous spat with my homie Porter Rock over it. You know what I'm saying? When we went back and forth, right? Um, and I had my, I picked up my X launch day. Okay. I was, you know, I, I, I was a big Xbox guy. I'm like, okay, now they're going to 
do away with the power narrative. They're going to focus solely on uh, bringing back that hardcore-esque feel. You know, that we're going to get the best multiplats, which, you know, the majority of the games that people play anyway. But when we get that Xbox content, boom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There goes the dynamite, right? And, and, and me picking up my X on launch day was the first time that I've ever picked up a console on launch day. I normally don't do that because of the, the faulty factor. You know, I learned a long time ago, you wait a few months after a console has been launched so or or some something technicals come out so they can work out all the kinks and stuff like that. But with my X, I was so excited. I got it on launch day. First time I ever did that with a console. And the irony of the aforementioned Porter Rock, Porter Rock had to show me in the midst of my battle, me getting my ex, me being all excited, me pulling out all these old games and playing them and their ex enhanced and oh, look at Quantum Break now, whoa, and all this stuff. The irony of it is that it was Porter Rock, the guy that I had battled so immensely in a couple of videos, right? Had to show me the light regarding Xbox, Xbox's competitive spirit. And at the time, me and Porter Rock couldn't be no more than polar opposites. Our battles, our feuds are highly documented. They're on the internet and the internet goes nowhere, right? That being said, that being said, by Porter Rock showing me Phil Spencer's announcement at DICE, what was it, 2018? It's like a fog was lifted from my eyes to let me understand that even though that I was a fan of the hardcore Xbox, the hardcore Xbox was no more. It wasn't that the belief of hardcore Xbox can't compete with PlayStation. That wasn't Porter Rock's argument. It may be the argument of a lot of people, but it wasn't Porter Rock's argument. And it wasn't the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is, is that the Xbox that I love, that I, cherished that I was fighting for making videos of existed no more okay and then after the veil was lifted from my eyes I saw the games that Phil said were so important to the launch of X <laughs> the super lucky tales the zoo tycoon the Disney rush Phil prior to the X launch and said that software was important to the delivery of the X what he meant in so many words is I want to put this X out here I want people to realize that on paper we 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 battled we we battled away the the power narrative on paper, but I I want to reach the I want to reach the the hug me gamers. I want the unicorn riding wannabe gamers. All right, I want the kumbaya gamers. So the the the, the software that we're releasing, yeah, we're gonna put fours out there, but everybody doesn't play racer games. It's just to help us look good on paper. We I saw that, right. And then I saw the contradictions from E3. This is gonna be the best E3 ever. And I just kept seeing Microsoft's E3s getting worse and worse and worse. Then I saw the anti-hardcore rhetoric from the likes of Shannon Loftus. Gameplay doesn't have to be about kills and all this other. That's silly to say, we know that. We understand that gameplay does not all have to be about guts and, and gore and all other stuff. But I, I, I beckon my Xbox people to, to understand this, what, what, understand where I'm coming from when I say this. Say for instance, you're thirsty, you're knocking on my door and you're like, can I get a glass of water? Can I get a glass of water? And I just keep bringing you out crackers and beef jerky and, and all this stuff that's just making your thirst even worse. And then one day I just pop up out of the door after you're begging me time and time again for water. Why is it that you just care about water? There's more than substance, substance than water. Here, have, <laughs> have, have some more beef jerky. The point is, is that you're thirsty right now. You're not giving me any water. I know there's more to it than just water, but I need something and you're giving me nothing in that regards. That's the point that we're, we're coming from here, right? But we're ignoring all that. But while we're ignoring all that, we still continue to get empty promises. The declining performance, the gap going from, you know, 1.5 to one to two to one and two and a half to one to three to one. Then you had the infamous Crackdown 3 Awakening, which I predicted. I told y'all that Crackdown 3 was gonna have a lot of people open their eyes and finally get the veils pulled off of their head, but it was too late, it was the 12th hour. Microsoft already went gung-ho with, with, with its initiatives, right? And then what did you see? You saw YouTuber after YouTuber abandoning Xbox because again, it took them to wait till Crackdown 3 to realize what was going on that I realized in early 2018. Then you had the Bungle E3 of 2019. 
then the god awful decision to have obsidian and xo19 a company with the hardcore pedigree of 20 plus years showcase a rejected xbox kitty aesthetic as their first microsoft studios studios title if you ain't woke up from that then i don't know what to tell you guys but i implore you i ask you you know what i'm saying that until you get great hardcore games again recognize xbox cannot compete with anybody they're not competing with anyone they need the critical acclaim whether it be via uh, pundits or the community they need those type of games they need them just like how they had them that's what people are looking at xbox for and this resurgence of the the kitty hold your hand through the lollipop land xbox it's not going to do anything for them they want to be they want to be jacks of all trades but a master of none they got to have an identity and you can't so easily erase that identity you got to bring those hardcore games that people want they want them more they want them more now than ever all right and being in last place in every primary litmus that you participate in will not do it only satisfying you i understand that you guys are happy whether it's a mental fog or you're truly happy i'm not going to doubt what makes you happy but i understand that there's some people that are in this battle just to be in it for their favorite piece of plastic right but I, i'm not going to say that's everybody but understand that being in a pro in last place in every primary litmus whether they have just you or not will not do it for them only satisfying the people that are with them no matter what will not do it if it did it then microsoft wouldn't have to do anymore because they already got you right and you and, and and you're gonna tell all be all right no you're not okay and the tell all be all for you guys is seeing these teraflops and these gigahertz and all that silly stuff that's what's doing it for y'all but that's not going to extend the olive branch to the other gamers that they need to have happen. It's not gonna do it. Focusing on power will not do it. It did not do it for the X and it will not do it for the Series X. Keep your focus as a community on games and content solely. That should be 99.9999999% of the stuff that comes out of your mouth. Not stupid articles like this, this is stupid. And the quality thereof of those games should be what comes out of your mouth. Because everything else, period, is just white noise. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, Stadia Dosey. With that being said, I know this was a rambling, bambling version of an open letter, but my Xbox people, come on, man. Y'all got to get with it. Because y'all going to be sitting there confused like, what, 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 what? Come on, man. Just come on. It, 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 it ain't that hard to fathom. You're happy, great. But if you were the tell-all, be-all, then Microsoft would need to do no further. No, they're not going to reach 2 billion gamers through what you like, because if they, because if, if what you like was the connection to those two billion gamers then they would again then they wouldn't be in last place it's just common sense be self-aware okay that's it y'all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace